right now let us start with the session now get starlet config what is the purpose of this get starlet config object now try to understanding here whenever we are developing the one starlet must also should we need to configure that starlet how to configure for example like this this is web.xml this is web.xml inside the web.xml we can configure like this web app under that servlet servlet <coughs> servlet name servlet name the next here servlet name we can pass for example my server close the servlet name the next servlet class servlet iphone class now what is the servlet class here my servlet my servlet close the servlet class the next close the servlet the next servlet mapping under that servlet name now my sir then close the servlet name the next url pattern under that slash star this is the directory match close the url pattern then close the servlet mapping then finally close the web app if we want to finding the servlet name then we have to go for servlet config as well as if we want to finding the init param names init param values now we have to go for servlet config that is the purpose of the servlet config servlet name means this is the servlet name if you want to finding the servlet name then we have to go for servlet config right the next one servlet uh, get servlet info the purpose of the get servlet info is if you want to finding okay if you want to finding servlet version who is the author of the servlet if you want to finding such type of information we have to go for what get servlet info method okay now first first of all we will see the okay real servlet name we are going to getting or not now just we will observing <coughs> so now web app under that yesterday i developed life cycle app now here i want to finding the servlet name if you want to finding the servlet name now what we have to do now we can write here just one statement that is config dot so now here we can write one statement config dot config dot get the servlet name <coughs> get servlet name that's enough after that we can compile this one take that location go to the command prompt and we can compile 
now here set class path equal to set class path equal to we can take the jar file here that is sarlet api dot jar file sarlet api dot jar file <coughs> now paste here semicolon dot semicolon now java c live saru dot java compilation is done right after that copy that java file dot last file copy that and paste into the classes folder paste here that's enough now we can start the server Now my server is started. After that, we will make a request. Open the browser and we will make a request. <coughs> HTTP colon localhost colon 2014. Then click on Tomcat Manager. Login. life cycle app what is the url pattern here life now go to the server side and we can check it out so what is our servlet name one servlet name is displayed very clearly is one right that is the purpose of the servlet config like that this is the life cycle methods are going to be used in our servlet applications right now today we will see i want to i want to displaying the some information from server side to browser side if we want to displaying the any information from server side to browser side now what we have to do what we have to do now just observing here <coughs> now i want to displaying one message that is welcome to servlet technology web programmer means server side we are not displaying the any information we are going to displaying the information from server side to browser side from server side to browser side now if we want to displaying the any information from server side to browser side now first of all we need to take the here web application architecture we need to take the web application architecture <coughs> this is the web application architecture we have to take the web application architecture like this so now welcome serve app otherwise welcome application welcome application ever choice project name is any name you can take not a issue project name is ever choice any name you can take under that src the next web by nf the next classes the next 
lib folder this is the web application architecture after that here we can develop one java file that is that is welcome serve welcome serve dot java the next web dot xml web dot xml the next dot class file if any jar files are there we can place those jar files here now we can develop welcome serve dot java web dot xml file and we can test really really we are displaying the welcome message or not from server side to browser side right now just observing here <coughs> first i am going to creating the architecture new class sorry new under that i am taken welcome app welcome app under that first we have to take the here src the next after that web inf iphone inf under that classes the next under that lib folder this is the web application architecture after creating the web application architecture we can develop the welcome serve dot java first welcome serve dot java how to develop the welcome server dot java now here i am going to importing the first of all api after that i am going to extends our class to generic servlet why because why because here whenever we are implementing the servlet interface we need to providing the implementation of all the methods like a init method service method destroy method get servlet info get servlet config we need to providing the implementation of all the methods but providing the implementations of all the methods there is no use for the development side as well as there is no use for the client side also in order to overcome that problem some microsystem was going to given by the one implemented class called that is generic servlet generic servlet was implemented by the all the life cycle methods except the service method service method is a responsible to take care about java programmers java programmers okay now whenever we are taking the generic servlet we no need to implementing the all the life cycle methods just we can providing the implementation of inside the service method by overriding service method okay so now here now here how do developing that application so now this is servlet interface whenever we are implementing the servlet interface we need to providing the implementation of all the methods available to the javax dot servlet dot star package the next generic servlet generic servlet generic servlet generic servlet was implemented by the all the methods of servlet interface except the service method now this is also available to the javax dot servlet dot star package now when we want to develop the our class 
by extends generic satellite and we can develop this is our satellite our satellite so extends extends right extends now this generic satellite is also called as independent satellite protocol protocol independent satellite protocol independent satellite why because this is supported by the all type of protocols like http protocol then next smtp simple mail transport protocol ftp file transport protocol etc all the all the requests was going to be handled by the generic servlet that is the reason we call them as protocol independent servlet protocol independent servlet now by extends our class to generic servlet and we can implementing the application and uh, that application is going to be displayed by the messages from server side to browser side right now how to how to displaying that message we will see here